Welcome, another part's up. It's not up. The recording is done, but it will be up. Time travel is confusing. Yay. Ooh, hmm. I just heard that on your head. Never yeah. seen him dodge a strike. Huh. Because he's not completely weak. Other than good. Maybe. Everybody, everybody, look at Goku from the side angle. He looks fat. Huh? He legitimately looks fat. It's not, it's not the weight of best or anything. He just looks legitimately fat. Like all that food he eats. Yeah, it's, it's staying there. I agree. Fat to eat. Gob. Look, look, kind of like he had bro, bro, had broilies there. What was that you I said? Just realized oh. Yeah. Android 19 has dirt eyes. <laughs> yeah. And Dr. Zero is missing an eye. He's missing one eye, and the other's apparently derping. Android 20, I mean, but yeah, we all know Zero. We don't really need. I think he's for. Sport word. It's not even that. Yeah, it's not. Not really much of a spoiler as it is. Comment on what he just said. Yamcha actually did something. Which he, he ironically said, all won't be much use here since he's a weakling human who's like super weak. Tien, like, he disappears from the show, from the Z-War shortly after too since he's still technically human, so. Vegeta asked, does a machine experience fear? Well, from Chobits, I experience love. <laughs> uh, see the so for Android 19, I have to say for him, what is love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I mean, look, you're getting hurt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like just a little way off there. Could I kept getting them. I don't like how they just like vanish to the side there. Wow, you actually comboed them very good at the end. Yeah, <laughs> this is my first time. Them off the wall. Silly robot tricks are for kids. Well, <laughs> and human. Oh, Pedrina, you're not even human. Shut up. He looks... He, his skin looks kind of gray in his little portrait there, but in his like sprite, it looks kind of like you know just regular skin color. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I wish I could do that, you know, bust open walls. <clears throat> Look, if, if the energy blasts were that powerful, they sh they should have like destroyed everything that got hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, real quick, that uh, Doctor Gerode's Russian helmet-looking thing that he dropped. He, uh, you can actually, uh, in the Boo's Fury, if you haven't watched it, that's actually a possible collectible. Well, not a possible, one of the collectibles. Yeah, you can't pick it up now, you know? Yeah, would have saved me a little trouble later on, but... And, of course, dinosaur bones. Yeah. I switched to, uh, Vegeta here, because he's my strongest character right now. Mm -hmm. Even though he's pretty beaten up, I could just use the sensory beam, but, nah. Oh, those, yeah, you don't get many of them, don't you? No, I don't even know if there's a way to, like, keep getting multiple of them. So I just, I'm, I'm just saving them. I have an infinite supply of cookies, anyways. Yay, cookies! Yes! Uh, when you're facing evil ultimate badness, you just chomp down, or, I'll say. Uh, he doesn't have the helmet during combat, but when you scan him like this, he does. And I actually added this part in, I replayed through a bit because I missed this on the original play. Anyways, yeah, you're facing a, a I want to say demon, but it's not. Like an android that uh, can destroy the world, and you're low on health. Instead of it finishing you off, you just sit in the corner and just eat like a 20 cookies. Mm -hmm. so... Definitely. 
You never did a big bang combo with it, like charging up it during Super Saiyan. I can't do it with this or the last boss, man. If I do, he'll absorb the energy. Oh, right. I forgot energy absorb the thing. No. i show that off later, I think. Maybe. If I want to. Uh, here I'm desperately trying to find health since I'm about to die. Wow, I was lucky. <laughs> yeah, I know. Lucky. No one my usual luck could just give me a big warm of energy. Oh, also another thing to note. From the boss, from most of the bosses from here on out, you don't have to finish off their entire health bar. Like, a lot of them, most of the bosses from here to the end, almost all, you, all you have to do is, like, get it to, like, half health or, like, get it to 20% left or just get 20% down. Ish. Huh, pretty much. From the future. The way he's, um, kneeling, he's like, my master. <laughs> Which is my pity, my master. It's a disaster, Skywalker, we're after. What if we could be turned to the dark side? Yes, he'd be a powerful ally. Another dark Jedi. You will join us or die. Hey, listen to that again. <laughs> Da, da, da. 17 and 18. What are we in math class? <laughs> Dr. Zero, how could it be? Gasp. They also had bold letters saying Dr. Zero. <laughs> Didn't you see his big freaking name tag? He had a huge name tag that said Dr. Zero, Mr. Evil Villain, Red Light Guy. Timeline must have changed while I was traveling back to the past. Oh, okay, I ever foresee traveling back in time and altering timeline would actually alter the timeline. Wait. <laughs> yep, basic time travel here. Uh, Trunks, Noob, have you never seen that with Doctor Who? Or Back to the Future? You'd think if you were going to time travel, you'd at least look up a couple episodes of that or just watch one of the movies at least. You'd probably watch the western one and be like, oh, I'll be alright. Hidden within a cave somewhere in the northern mountains. Like, that's just vague in general. There's no location called the Northern Mountains. In this game, yes, but... Yes. A random, random little nook in mountains. In all the mountains. And yet we somehow managed to find, like... A general location. And then we find the exact location following a small set path. You want to just notice? We can fly over everything in the world map, right? So why yeah. the hell do we have to fly over this damn mountain range? Can't we just get there? No, no we can't. This sucks. Now, a thing I pointed out, like, right before this, that my friend here didn't know about. The, uh, the corner with the, the garlic ju- Alright, let's, let's scan these guys. Okay, let's not scan these guys. The garlic junior, uh, pot of evil purple drink in the corner there. The icon, the, the, the water actually, like, moves around and mixes. Black water and mist thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it was. I prefer exactly. to call it purple drink. Purple. Evil. Diamond pur encoded purple drink. There we go. <laughs> Evil. Uh, ruby. Ruby encoded purple drink. Sorry. Uh, oh, you're just one shotting everything. Actually, I think I two shotted them. Oh really? I thought you. Oh, uh, boulders! Time. Finally, I can get some health. Okay, energy. Another energy. Uh oh, they're food. Good, because you know. Turtle. How many turtles were, were killed in the making of this game? Not enough. And chickens. Uh, I just admire the fact that I finally got food. Cause you know, who needs food when you have full bar of energy? Especially who needs food to heal. Yeah, especially with a character whose main is his just base strength is fist punching power. I didn't use any capsules on anyone yet, so, yeah, and his focus is more on strength, so. Yeah, Speaking using capsules, not a good idea. No capsules. Do do do. Da 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 da. Mini boss time. That rock kind of looks like a, I don't know, like three fingers. Yeah, it out. looks kind of like a hand. Yeah, it does. It's weird. Looks like it's gonna high-five me. Yeah! 
we call it the bro hand? The bro rock. I love how he comes out of his hiding spot saying, you'll never find my secret location, then flies away. Well, it doesn't help that it's like two screens away. Well, it doesn't help that you're actually kind of revealing it, but then again, it's kind of obvious when you yeah. see him the head. Oh, let's go over here. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Giant robots and electrical pink laser field. With Which three. is a small gap. Yeah, you can easily just fly over, but, you know, why bother, right? There's only two bro rocks right there. They're not facing each other, though. I want them to high-five or something cool <laughs> like that, you know? Yes, yeah, so and this part of the game is the infamous generators. It's probably not the worst part for most people, but definitely one of the more notable parts with the eggs. You know what I mean? Oh, I, that I should... part. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about now, right? I feel the pain. Boom! There you go. <laughs> I hate that part. I forget these guys explode, so I was like, ah, oh, I'm taking damage. Yeah, that's that's one of the hardest parts. I'll, I'll show you a stra I'll show you guys a strategy when I get to it. But uh, there's a there's this perfect spot over here for grinding up levels like madness. That uh, another thing my friend here didn't even know about apparently. Yep, did not know. All right, these three tiger guys. Just keep beating them. You'll get mad amounts of XP. It's wicked. <laughs> now it's time. This guy. This gate with an orange thing. I wonder who it could be. It's Goku. It's not a spoiler because it shows like in a second. That or probably in the manual or something. Who knows? Oh yeah. Only Goku. See. Now the thing here is you can't get past this because you don't have Goku yet. Obviously. And this guy, he can't hit you. But you can hit him. And when you kill him, well, just watch the EXP bar. This is at like level 25, or 26 rather. And just look, just watch how much EXP I get. I also noticed the enemy wags its tail. Oh, uh, that's cute. Too bad it has to die horribly. <laughs> oh. Any time now! There you go! This is at level 26, and I got half my EXP bar. Now, I think the video is coming to a close, so I'm gonna say my byes. See you next time, you wanna say something real fast? Too late. Bye! Bye.